International aerospace and defense companies that have registered subsidiaries in India have now approached the Ministry of Defense and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to express their interest in becoming part of supply chain for India's AMCA Next Generation Stealth Fighter Program that is to be executed under a public-private joint venture between the DRDO Hindustan Aeronautics and private companies in India. There is still no clarity whether a subsidiary of a foreign company in India can be classified as an Indian company, or it will be considered a foreign entity, and be kept out of sensitive indigenous defense programs, and the supply chain should solely remain with Indian companies. India has ambitious plans to have 75% indigenous content in 40 AMCA Mark I fighter jets, and over 90% indigenous content in the AMCA Mark II. And if the foreign subsidiaries in India can compete with local private sector companies, it will help accomplish the ambitious goal of indigenization, since the intellectual property rights of the components and subsystems outsourced will remain with India. India plans to establish a majority private sector owned company with a minority stake by public sector firms, that will be in charge of the AMCA production, and also provide maintenance repair and overhaul support. Private sector companies that will be a part of the AMCA program will also share intellectual property rights and can explore the sale of the aircraft in the export market. Former Chief of the Indian Air Force Retired Air Marshal RKS Badaria, who has been appointed as the Chief Nodal Officer of the UP Defence Industrial Corridor Project, has backed the development of a 90 kN class cavalry engine. The plan is to modify the 46 kN dry cavalry engine to generate 57 kN thrust, which will be able to generate around 90.6 kN of thrust with an afterburner section, which can replace the 84 kN class F404 engine on 40 Tejas Mark I aircraft in the future. The dry cavalry engine is currently in Russia for high altitude trials, and after its completion it will start limited series production, so that it can be fitted into Tejas aircraft and used as a flying test bed for indigenous stealth UCAF program and loyal wingman program. Officials have said that Hindustan Aeronautics developed HTSE 1200 engine will complete certification by 2025 that can be used to power 3 to 6 ton category helicopters. HAL's engine division is working in association with the RDO's Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory to reduce its dependency on the French firm Safran that has been providing engines for its helicopter programs including the Pratchand Light Combat Helicopter. Indian Air Force officials held a round of discussions with the Zero District Administration about the various issues affecting the 2016 built advanced landing ground at Zero, and the obstacles preventing it from becoming one of the most coveted advanced landing grounds in the state, that includes construction of a few high-rise buildings near the advanced landing ground. The Indian Air Force has asked the district administration to look into the possibility of extending the current runway from existing 1.3 km to 1.5 km, and compensating the affected landowners, as an additional 200 m runway is required for a larger 50-seater aircraft to land. The Western Command of the Indian Army has said, that the Kalga Strike Corps have conducted an integrated training exercise involving its 1st Armoured Division, and they practiced opposed canal crossing and firing drills, and validating their operation preparedness to strike deep inside the adversary's territory.